Good morning, welcome. Let's take a look at the Graphic News Plus app. And where is a new, brand new thing from the Graphic Communications Group Limited. You can subscribe to it and get all your publications on your phone. The simple thing is for you to go on there to the Google Play Store or the um, iOS Store and download it. And this is the daily graphic for today, Wednesday, October 2. And the president has launched the initiative to manage plastics. There you have uh, the British High Commissioner, Ian Walker, in a handshake with the president. The community miners invade mining concessions and sexuality education not approved, education minister declares. That's um, the front page of the Daily Graphic. Let's see if we can find some more publications. Of course, we can. Uh, graphic Sports. Okay, what's Graphic Sports saying for today? It says, uh, actually yesterday, so it runs from October, September 30 to October 6. It says, stars, officials cry for Afcon money and uh, Black Queen's Face Kenya tests Friday. Coleman is world fastest man. And Papo, I'll rebrand Ghana football. That's what he says. Let's check out um, others, maybe Junior Graphic. Here we go. Junior Graphic um, is talking about the fact that Irajua Obobia Whiting, the 12 year old principal organist. That's good. Very, very good. A refreshing. And don't insert objects into your ears and nose. Uh, that's what the children are being told. Mom's dream birthday party. Okay, and how children can keep safe and secure. The junior graphic has all the details you need to find. Maybe a last one for there. Graphic business. What's graphic business telling us this morning? And the graphic business is uh, telling us about the war against fuel smuggling yields results. Nearly 1 billion Ghana cities saved in 20. 18 and top performing individual brands rewarded at the 2018 CIMG Awards. TV3's own Talented Capes won the program TV program of the year. Help boost pineapple production. Farmers appeal to government. And the big headline is relief at last for GAT uh, banks share government's 800 million. And uh, that's it. That's what you have there on the front pages. Let's now check out what the other newspapers are also saying to us. This morning, the Finder, the Ghanaian Times, and the Daily Guide are all here, and we will get into it shortly. Okay, so what's the Daily uh, Ghanaian Times saying? The Ghanaian Times is talking about brouhaha over sex education in basic schools. No sexuality education for KG to P6. Education minister dismisses claim. And driver gets one year for threatening to kill two policemen. Yesterday, we saw a video of two policemen beating one uh, handcuffed man. What do they get as well? President calls for attitudinal change in plastic waste disposal. A new cocoa producer price up by 8.42. Daily Guide. NDC has acid mouth, says Rollins. Ghana adopts plastic waste strategy and NDA exposes 9.5 million SADA rot. Um, no sex education curriculum, NAPO. The Finder newspaper, good morning, Elvis Daku and the team. CSE is not approved by government. It is not in the curriculum for schools. That's according to the education minister. Cylindary circulation model to increase price of LPG uh, cocoa board. And a bag of cocoa now sells at uh, 515 Ghana cities, an increase of 8.42. Uh, 8 the farmers are actually calling for 500 cities. Government is giving them 550. That's good. My guest this morning is a member of parliament for Damongo constituency, the Honorable Adam Mutawakilu, and also Mr. Richard Ahiagba is a deputy national communications director of the NPP. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. This month is Breast Caster Month. Um, are you are you conversant with uh, the examination? <laughs> it's, a, <coughs> it's a very... You didn't um, expect this question. Oh, no, I did. I did. Because uh, I was, I was uh, talking to some people about it earlier. Okay. Um, I think the, the awareness level uh, in Ghana is a bit down. Maybe okay. I'm not talking to the right quarters, but it's a very important mm. uh, uh, situation to okay. pay attention to, especially for all our women. Mm -hmm. uh, it is better to detect, and I think early detection actually guarantees a uh, uh, high success rate of treatment. Mm. So it's imperative that uh, we get uh, uh, the awareness out there and uh, all the women, it uh, doesn't matter, you just go get examined. Mm. And I think uh, uh, we should focus more attention on that because it's something that is Would you do the examination It's preventable. 
I, I'm just not uh, educated enough. Well, everybody can learn and do it. I don't know. Alaj, would you well, it depends. You, you might be finding something there which is really not there and okay. you create panic. <laughs> okay. So I'll, 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 let, <laughs> I'll let the professionals do it. And, uh, Alaj, what about yeah, you? Yes, would you do yes. the examination at home? Yeah, um, to be very frank, I don't have so much in-depth knowledge to okay. detecting which one is uh, okay. cancerous and which one which is, one is not. not. So yeah. it's a bit difficult. Mm. Uh, but uh, the indication, as I in, uh, my colleague had indicated, uh, mm. it's not that much. Yesterday I listened to discussion on mm. CTFM where a specialist was brought there and mm. uh, people were sending messages and uh, responses. But I think the gender minister okay. should be interested mm. to ensuring that uh, the education aspect okay. is, uh, is well done to ensure that every woman had the opportunity to mm. understand and to be able to detect mm -hmm. early signs and seek treatment appropriately. Mm. Yeah, but the education aspect is not that much. Education needs to go. Okay, so yesterday the uh, education minister held a press conference and we're talking about sexuality uh, education, not approved education minister declared. Now the graphic reports that the Minister for Education, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, has stated that a comprehensive sexuality education, CSE, has not been approved for use in schools. The curriculum framework, KG to primary six, approved by the National Council for Curriculum Assessment, NACA, for use in the development of school curriculum, which has been approved by Cabinet, does not include the CSE. He stated, addressing the media yesterday, Dr. Prempet therefore appealed to the public and all faith-based organizations to exercise restraint and verify the facts um, of official government policy before making public pronouncements. So here's the minister from yesterday's press conference addressing uh, the nation and, and speaking. Take a look at this. The ministry states categorically that one, the curriculum framework from KG to P6, that has was approved by cabinet from the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment for use in the development of school curriculum and published on NACA website does not include anything on comprehensive sexuality education. He stressed the ministry and GES can only introduce new programs in the school curriculum with the approval of cabinet. Even if somebody develops a draft policy document, it has to go through an approval process. And it will go through an approval process. And it doesn't mean it will be accepted. The document that has been accepted, that we are championing, that we are using in schools. I wish you could point whether the curriculum that is published on the website, whether it's the teacher resource pack that we have distributed to over 152,000 teachers, where we have documented how to go about teaching comprehensive sexuality education. So that was the Honorable Minister for Education yesterday. Now, in January of this year, he made uh, other statements regarding this subject matter. Take a look at this. The subject of sexuality education has become a very important matter, particularly for the youth in our societies. Indeed, the changing societal context, characterized by the free flow of information, media pluralism, and the social media, has necessitated the need for education systems to provide accurate information of sexual, sexuality education. We in Ghana have a guideline that I've shared with you that we see it is imperative if this nation should develop that sexuality education should be part of the curricula that we would launch this year in September, all the way from kindergarten to senior high school. Let me congratulate UNESCO and partners for the timely nature of this high-level dialogue among ministers of the, four, of the four regions, Eastern, Southern Africa, Western, and Central Africa, to shape the discourse and the implementation of comprehensive sexuality education in Africa. Ghana has long recognized sexual and reproductive health education as a conduit for addressing issues affecting the youth in this area. 
originally provided by elders and other traditional leaders in community. Aspects of reproductive health education were introduced in the school system with the advent of formal education. Okay, so then and now, but happy birthday to Kayla Bueller Reina. Happy birthday to you from your parents. Uh, Richard, two Hello. statements in one year on the same subject. What do you think? Well, let me, let's begin properly. Good morning to your viewers and uh, to His Excellency, the President, my good brother, and yourself. Um, the Minister of Education spoke. I think this was in January. Yes, it? this was in January. And let, let's Gen give uh, the due credit to Ghana Web. Okay. Uh, they put that together. So Yeah, yeah. Um, I think what you saw and what you saw yesterday is a minister speaking to a framework of discussions leading to approval okay. of a, a set document for education. And he mentioned by September this year. By September. And, and so, this document came out in September. Yes. So uh, the, the line we need to draw is him speaking in advance of a consultative process that is going to lead to the approval in September of a curriculum that we are going to teach to our students or okay. our children. Mm -hmm. So you can argue his personal position on the matter. It is not his no. personal position. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Richard, hold no. on, hold on. It is not. If you just allow me, no, no, I am no, speaking no. words from my mouth, and if you are stopping no, no. me, you won't I, hear. I need, I need for us to put on record that the minister was not speaking his personal opinion. He was speaking to that gathering in his capacity as Minister for Education. He couldn't be speaking a personal opinion. Okay. Just that, if, that, that you, you cannot correct my thought. I am saying something, so just listen to no, me. But you if I say use the, the word thing. personal... You cannot say the oh, wrong thing. Johnny, don't edit my thought. Okay. Let me speak. Okay. I am saying the minister is on that platform speaking. There is a consultative process that will follow that. Mm. And on the board, that will approve or disapprove that includes the Catholic Bishop Conference, the Christian Council, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Council of uh, Muslim uh, Union or something of that, of that sort. Mm -hmm. So we have all that and other stakeholders who now post his comments are going to sit to approve or disapprove and this document goes to cabinet approve or disapprove. Mm -hmm. And we're saying that from where he spoke, the process had not kicked in. He spoke at an event organized by UNESCO and some organizations. Now, moving on from that, mm. that is why I'm saying that he spoke mm. as an individual or a minister or not. He is not going to singularly approve the curriculum for our children in this country. Mm. So he spoke, the process ensued, and when the document which came out of that consultation mm. is presented to us, what he spoke about is not in it. May I ask you so we need to draw the line. What he said mm. and what survived through the process and now is on our desks for our children to learn does not tally. May I ask you a, a yes. quick question? Yesterday on this platform, uh, Dr. Ahmed Jinapo, who is a member of NACA, said they have not been consulted. Again, Dr. Clementa Park, who is a member of the Education Committee in Parliament, uh, Deputy Ranking Member, says they had not been, you know, uh, consulted on, now, on what on on the CSE now this the minister speaking in January said this was going to be part of a curriculum in September yes now the minister yesterday says it is never part of it and his, it was clear I mean the graphic says from KG to primary six the minister says it's not part yes but earlier in January he says it is going to be part yes and in fact we've seen the guidelines yes and that's what the Catholic Bishop conference is raising red flags yes that you said it is not yes. and now this is what we are seeing and that's mm -hmm. why I'm asking you what do you say because the people you're very people you're making reference to mm -hmm. to have been part of the consultation process say we were not part look I am Johnny you see I, I appreciate Okay, the skepticism around the subject. As a person, as a parent, I don't appreciate that mm. content. Mm. And it's been made clear. Now, what I think uh, obtains today in the discussion space is people's skepticism that is being litigated to say that, oh, it was there or it's supposed to be there, or people wanted to be there. The point we know is that even in your own production, mm. 
Mm. There are things that you put together, by the time it actually goes on air, so certain part of it is edited out. Mm. The minister spoke at a time, uh, mm. in advance of a process to consider the curriculum for our children. Now, the question we need to ask, which you, the media houses, should be interested in, in fact, this morning, to have a copy of it to say, look, this is the approved curriculum in the September process the minister talked about. Mm. And right here is CSE. Okay? Does, does it wish it away? No, I'm saying, no, so that you tell us that it's in it. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So you have a document and say, this is CSE, mm. consistent with what the minister said in January, that is going to be in it or should be in it. Now we have the September document and it's in it. Have you seen, the, have you seen the guidelines you, for the CSE? Have you read it? Have you taken your time to read it? Johnny, I heard the minister yesterday. Have you seen the CSE? Have you taken time to read Johnny, it? Johnny, I have heard the minister. No, I, I want you to answer my question. I am speaking. I'll answer your question when I get there. Okay. What I'm telling you is this. I heard the minister. He's speaking to a curriculum and a, a, a study pack that is functional right now. CSC is not in it. I'm not sure how you want me to speak to a guideline that is before a curriculum. Okay. The, the finished product is what we're talking about. So, so in the finished product, do you see CSE? Okay. It's not in there. So, so that's where we should focus. I'm not sure why we are so preoccupied with talking about things that are not in the document, which we are concerned should not be teach to our children. And we're saying that here is the document. The thing you are concerned about is not in it. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding the discussion in the consultative process that that idea may have been part of the draft documents that were considered. So what is the, what is the guideline published for? The guideline, which is in circulation now yeah. from the GES, yeah. what is it meant for? Johnny, what, what is the subject on our table? Are we discussing guidelines or we're discussing what we're going to be teach and what is going to be taught to our children? But the guideline what will, is going the, to be taught Richard, to Richard, our Richard, children? Richard, hold on. The process is that the guideline, the yeah. minister makes a statement to policy and stakeholders. Yeah. Now, he is given leadership and direction. And you know how the structure works. When the minister speaks, everybody else takes a cue from it and you're moving. You may have your professional opinion. Now, when it is done, the guidelines are published out of the guideline you would have the developers of the curriculum look at the guideline, which is supposed to be the guiding spirit, and generate a curriculum out of it. So now I'm asking you, it is not in the curriculum part given to the teachers who are teaching now, mm -hmm. but what is the guideline published for? That's what I'm asking you. Tony, you've answered your own question. So when I... So, so, so you answered your own question. The guideline predates the curriculum, right? So you have a curriculum which is a byproduct of the guideline. Mm. And in that byproduct, you don't see what you are worried about. You don't see CSE in the finished product. So what exactly is your concern? The fact that a guideline is published has a, a CSE mm. in it, but does not translate into the product, which is going to be taught to your children mm. and my children, I have no worries about so it. So you have no worries that the minister said in January that it is going to happen and there's a guideline, you still uh, stand by that point that nothing of that sort will happen. That is, that, is, that, that, is that your point? Yes, that tells you that tells you the consultative nature of the process. That the minister can wish something, but ultimately the nature and, of and democracy... And, I, and I'm saying to you that NACA yeah. and the subcommittee in parliament say, we have not been consulted. Uh, but have you heard the, the, the chief executive of uh, NACA? Have you, have you spoken with what him? What did he say? No, have you spoken with what him? What did he say? I, I asked because, you a question. Because, I asked you a question no, no, if you had no, no, seen. No. I asked you a question if you had seen the guideline. You said you answered my question. You skipped my question. No, you want me to answer your question? Because I answer your question. I don't have to see the guideline. <laughs> I have to see the curriculum, which does not have what concerns me. CSE is not in the curriculum. Okay. So I am not interested in the guideline because if uh, if the CSE is in mm, the mm, curriculum, mm. then I have concern. What, what did the chief executive of NACA say? In fact, let me let me entreat you to talk to him because no, exactly no, no. you say uh, he's because he said I want you to supply information. No, you you are the one to dig for information. But what I'm trying to tell you, Johnny, is that when you are telling me what did he what, say? What, when you are telling me, Mr. Clement, okay, Park, it's okay. So, what, so, so you don't want to talk. You don't want to. What share I'm saying is that everything that you need has been said. What did the man say? What did he say? The CEO he says the about man. this thing not being in the curriculum. Okay, thank you. CSE is not in the curriculum Alaj, they have approved. Alaj, you heard the minister then and now. What do you think?
Yeah, thank you very much and good morning to our cherished viewers and more especially the good people of Damango constituency. It is very, very important to understand that when a minister speaks, he speaks policy issues. Mm. He states the policy of the government mm. and direct the respective agencies to take action. So when you come to the Minister of Education, the Minister of Education, mm. when he addresses a conference of this nature, he states the government policy position. Mm. It is not his personal thought or what he wants to say. Mm. We shouldn't personalize it. And he indicated emphatically that CSE will be implemented come September right. from the kindergarten to P6. Yesterday he says that's not the case. But we have just watched and listened to him. Mm. Now, were there some activities that has taken place to this point? What do you know? Now, I listened to conversation, I listened to various bodies, mm -hmm. and one, if you don't intend to introduce anything, no guideline will be published. Mm -hmm. As a minister, once that has not taken place, you have to ensure that nothing, no action is taken. Mm -hmm. Two, I listened to city and the contribution made by various educationists mm -hmm. and bodies. And it's emphatic that some teachers were trained and that the Minister of Education is seated at the helm of affairs and activities taken under him in relation to CSE. And he has no knowledge, knowing very well that it will be part of the curriculum. And he sits down until the public and the various religious bodies and other bodies start to talk mm. before you now come out. This is a clear sign of incompetence of the government. The, the, the minister said, look, the Catholic Bishops Conference and the uh, Islamic Conference, and uh, they are all part of the committee that's supposed to look at, at the curriculum so that everybody agrees that it's okay. But, so why are they complaining outside? They should be complaining inside. But, they should be raising but it's, issues it's inside. evident from this point that they have not been consulted. And as the deputy ranking member for energy uh, education. education education has said that the committee of energy is a stakeholder mm. they haven't been consulted my brother uh, dr ahmed had indicated they were not consulted mm. i believe respectfully the same other bodies like the religious bodies mm. haven't been consulted and processes are in place mm -hmm. to implement there is a backlash. Mm -hmm. Admit that, oh, this is what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And based on the complaint that is coming up, you are withdrawing it. You don't come and deny it. You Meanwhile, you denial? have. Yeah. Meanwhile, you've stated a policy position in January. You've stated a policy what, position. What would, let me ask you the same question I asked Richard. What would the guidelines be used for? You've been in government before. What does the guideline usually mean if anything of this nature comes up? The guidelines give the direction mm. as to what will happen. That is, that is the guideline. So if there is a guideline as to what the sexuality education should be taught, mm -hmm. how it should be implemented, and it is not the politi the technocrats that is following the policy position that has been stated by the minister. Mm -hmm. They develop all these things. There is a draft. Okay. So you can now come and say, oh, it is this and that. So all what has been wasted, people are paid for that, mm -hmm. for doing that work. What happens? And government is not aware. President Kufu Ado is not aware. Or uh, are they saying that when the minister was going for the conference, he did a consultation? You cannot say that. No. Definitely, it was the government position that he indicated. And indicated clearly that it would take effect mm. from September. Why are, you not, why are you not keen that 
this will be taught. I mean, there are schools of thought that, look, the children need to be aware. They need to know so that they are guided appropriately. What, what's your beef about that? Let me go back to uh, 2017 because per, when you are, let me talk, when you are preparing guidelines, you take into consideration the culture of the people, mm. the religious beliefs of the people, mm. the norms of the people. That is why you cannot just go to US mm. or UK, pick whatever they are doing there and you come and insert it here. Their culture, their beliefs, mm. the norms are totally different. If you go to Japan, mm -hmm. they teach them based on their culture and norms. That is what we must. If you go to China, mm -hmm. they are being based on their culture and norms. You don't go and import a foreign culture and norm and you want to force it on people. If we enrich our culture and enrich the norms that we have and the religious belief, mm -hmm. we will be able to do this without necessarily exposing kids mm -hmm. at a young age as kindergarten to this sort of uh, uh, teaching. Two, okay, I want to bring Too much here. exposure mm. leads to a lot. Relating back, the sexuality education mm. relates to a lot of issues. For example, Including what? lesbianism, mm. LPGP, all mm. those things. And we know the president indicated in 2017 when he met the prime minister of UK, mm that homosexuality gayism will definitely happen. It was, he was emphatic. He said the public conversations have started. No. And, but he said he will, it will definitely happen. Well, is it not upon us already? No. It is a, when you officialize it, it is a basis to it definitely happening. It is a basis. This is the start of it. Why, 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 do, why do you want to put a chain around the neck of the president? Is that not where the world is going? Is it where the world is going or who you are and what you are? Mm -hmm. That is where we get lost mm -hmm. as people. You just assume that the world is going this direction. Let's follow. Without taking your values along. Okay. Then you go naked. Okay, thank you. Uh, Richard, Elijah is putting a, a chain around the president's neck over a statement he made out there. Is that chain befitting? Johnny, the NDC and uh, my honorable brother here come to this conversation with some prejudice. And that is? Is, that is very sad. Mm. Which prejudice is that? The prejudice is they are disposed to thinking that, oh, this president wants, <clears throat> and I, I really don't understand. It's, his Excellency Nanado Dago Gufado, a Ghanaian. We agree he is a Ghanaian. Mm. Our general disposition is not to embrace these things as a people. Is Nanado Dago Gufado a member of the new patriotic party? Mm. The tradition he belongs to. Okay. It's a conservative tradition that abhors and tries to preserve our culture as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If you are talking about gradualist policy in terms of moving away from culture, in terms of adopting change, in terms of making sure as a people we modernize uh, mm -hmm. and globalize. The, the party tradition that allows you a realistic, reasonable, normative move that is consistent and acceptable. Mm -hmm. And by all means, ensuring that our culture, the sanctity of it is kept it's the new patriotic party. So, so now you tell me, mm -hmm. out of all these backgrounds that His Excellency comes from, and this party shares, what makes you think that this is the party to bring any such thing remotely to this country? It says by, what? By, by, by the statements this, that Napo made in January, it was a policy policies. decision listen, of government. Listen, is that okay. is that correct? I, I am I'm answering correct? a specific question of chain that you said around the neck oh, no, of the president. I think you have spoken wide enough. Please oh, answer my question. No, no, we can't <laughs> Johnny, speak all the time. I know, but if you so, just allow me, I will so, answer the question so for you. you. The question I, I am you answering. Three minutes to give credit okay, to the so, president and tell me about your party yeah, traditions. Oh, okay, Johnny, I'm asking you a specific question that he said when the minister spoke, he spoke government's policy position. Is that correct? 
<laughs> Jerry, sometimes you have to allow me to answer the question when he asks me. No, but you, have, you can't allow me. You, you can't ask used, me a question when I am. To do campaign. Please, it's please, okay. please. I'm not doing campaign. I'm here to address an issue. Please, don't, don't do that. The point I am trying to make to you is that he makes a statement. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're having this conversation here today mm -hmm. and has been all along is that the NDC want to end up to say that His Excellency the President made a comment somewhere, which of course for me is not even explicit. But they have a reason to tee it out of it to say he wants lesbianism and gay, whatever, in this country. Totally false. Did the information now, minister the point, speak government the policy? Point, mm. The point I am trying to let us understand is mm. that we in this country must have conversation about policy things. Did the okay? minister make wait, a wait, policy Johnny, statement? Uh, Johnny, allow me. The point we're making is that we must have debate about policy Did ideas. Did the minister make a the policy idea, statement? The idea that the, the CSE, most likely to be in, in our curriculum, the context of debate is not what we're having. We're arguing the against ourselves. Make a policy the point statement? of the matter, Johnny, is that going forward, going forward, we need to situate the debate to say, what do we have before us? Did the minister in, make in, a policy in the statement? Document, in the document we have before us, does it have CSE in it? Did, and the answer is no. Did now, the minister make... The Richard, question, Richard, I think you question, should, you should... No, please, please. Richard, the question... Richard the, Ahiagba, you have said all of what you're the, saying already. I I'm am saying, answering your question. You if you just allow me... I said, the, did the minister make Johnny, a policy Johnny, statement you heard in him. January? You heard him. No, I'm asking you. You heard him. You said, answer, you said he made a personal... Johnny, calm down, calm down. I am. I will angry. answer that question for you if you just allow me. It's stop interjecting because everything you are saying, I'm going to get there. But if you are trying to tee things out of my mouth, you can't get me to answer do, do because you, I am arguing for you the basis for what we are doing. Do you, I am Richard, saying to you, Richard, wait. hold on, Richard, hold on, hold on. Do you realize that I'm giving you actually a second chance at this conversation? So, so allow me so to say what I think. The second chance is to ask you questions that I didn't get from your first delivery. You have had a chance to make an initial statement, just like Alaji. So the second chance is for me to allow for you to answer questions that I thought you didn't respond to in the first one. Do we agree? You see, so the, the, I'm asking you now, yeah. in your second chance, which is now my question time, did the minister make a specific policy decision on government's behalf? Yes or no? You see, Johnny, he didn't. Okay. He made a statement, and the reason you, you should know that, and that question does not arise is this, that minister making that statement, uh, it's not a de facto statement. Okay. The, the statement he made will have to go through an approval process, and I said that before. Mm. So, minister saying one thing, there must be a consultative process. Now, the NACA board, mm. Uh, mm. The, the Christian Council, the Federation of Muslim Council, and the, and the, uh, the uh, Catholic mm. Bishop mm. Uh, Conference, conference mm. these people are on the NACA board. It's not as if they had to be called in. Mm. It's not by choice. Mm. They are there. You understand? So the difficulty I have, Johnny, and I, I, I am I'm a bit unhappy with the, the contest and the conversation is in, uh, largely because you, the media, are enabling a kind of conversation that is not productive. You now need to ask the specific question. The document which, by the end of the day, mm. is going to be taught to our children. Does it have CSE in it? Relevance? No. So then why are we arguing? Why are we enabling so, a kind so of discussion Richard, Richard, that is Richard, not related Richard, that, to that's, the that, seem, that seems to be the excuse of GS and government now, which is why I'm asking you. Mm. I have seen the guidelines. I have read it. Mm. I don't know if you have read the guidelines. I have. Now I'm asking you, what is the essence of the guideline then, if it's not going to be uh, end up in curriculum? Remember that Dr. Jinapo says yeah. he is a member of the board of NACA, and yeah. this matter has not come before them. Okay. You heard the Catholic Bishops Conference. Yeah. So my question is, what is the essence of a guideline yeah. that will not translate into curriculum? What is the essence? Okay. So if my brother answered that question for you. No, I'm asking you now. But I'm saying, I'm just telling you, what the, the answer I gave you is going to be my answer. Okay. That it's a general frame, it's a guideline, it's a directive guideline for those who are going to do the curriculum. Okay. So you look upon it and draw a curriculum. And now, they went and drew a curriculum. And that's right here before us. And everything you are reading in the guideline it's not everything in it. Okay. The very thing that is concerning to you, which is the CSE, huh, the byproduct of that uh, framework or guideline 
is right here and that CSC is not in it. Okay. So we should get to a point where the conversation terminates okay. and say that our interest is the byproduct. And looking at the byproduct, what we are worried about, the CSC, is not in it. So it means that our children are not going to learn uh, comprehensive sexuality education come September when they go to school. Do, now, do, when do, they I, go to do school? I take it for you that, from you that this CSE will never be part of our curriculum? Do I take that from you? As we speak today, it's not part of it. So the answer is no. Do, so do I, take, I, do I take a cue from you that, per what the minister has said, per what you're saying, this CSE, Comprehensive Sexuality Education, would never be part of our curriculum? I have every confidence to tell you, yes, it's okay. not going to be. Let, Thank you. Let me, let me Thank you very I'm much, so Mr. Surprised. <clears throat> My you shouldn't be surprised. Please make your, make your point and not uh, be surprised that people... The statement made by the minister wasn't the policy statement. Oh, he said... I said it's not a de facto because there's a process okay. everything okay. has to go through. That, that policy statement goes to a larger extent in sourcing funding. Funding from where? UN. Funded... We, right. The UNESCO. This, yes, yeah. UNESCO. Fund it. Usually, what is their see, interest when they fund such things? Policy statements. No, no, answer my question, please. Eh? Usually, what is their interest when they, find, they fund such uh, projects? You see, UNESCO is broad-based. Right. It is not just related to a particular country. Mm -hmm. Mostly, it will be controlled by influential countries, like the Western countries. So, it is very important mm -hmm. that to source funding, mm -hmm. you must emphasize on your core values if they don't support you you know that this i can organize mm -hmm. on my own mm -hmm. and do it the way my people will like me to do it okay this comprehensive sexuality mm -hmm. education is a policy by this government to ensure that they implement it richard says that's let me come richard says that's not it eh? That is not it. This, you wait and see. In, due, in the next few uh, years or months. But you, then you don't know our but traditional honorable. So, they, <laughs> they made a policy statement. Mm. Through that, it has been, financing has been sourced. They are tied to the neck. How do you know that? I'm telling you. And the, this the thing people, has the people on in your government face. are telling you that you are making what, what, a new turn. The people in government are telling you that, you are, that just trying to make, you are just trying to make juice out of no, 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 it no, will no, not no. happen. So, why, no. why are you insistent? Just like the minister has made an emphatic policy statement and running away from it, they can always make you turn. And I can give you a series of examples of where they made emphatic policy statements. And within few distance, they made a reference. But, but what, if what you're saying is anything to go by, if government has gotten funding from, from UNESCO to do one thing, mm -hmm. uh, and they have actually started expending the money because they, they're thinking around the guidelines, the printing and blah, 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 will take some money. If you have not done the work, you can't go to UNESCO and say, I've spent your money, but I don't have resources. Going to, to the show. future, that is what you are now talking about. Mm. Going to the future. Right. Do you get my point? Uh -huh. This is an intended call, uh, program they want to roll out. And nobody mm. should tell me here that it will never be rolled out. Okay. Johnny. Thank you very much. You want a third bite? Oh, no, no, not really. Just this, to, this just, is a no, no, just bite. a general. No, this is a third bite. J Johnny. So, it, so you know I'm being good to you. You're, you're always no. good. Yeah. You're always good. Thank you. Uh, the, the only thing is, no, no, no. The only thing is, yeah, I don't want you editing my thought. The, the only thing, Johnny, is that in this country we have to change the way we do things. Let's have debate about how we want to educate our children, who, sexuality. Who, who must set the table for the debate, the Is national it? conversation? Yes. Who, I think, who must set it? I think, I think that all of us mm -hmm. have a role to play. And you, the media, most of all, are the referees of the space. Mm -hmm. So you need to tee out the relevance and significant <clears throat> discussions mm -hmm. for your viewership. Is that not what you're say, doing? Well, yes, but you see, direct the discussion to where it matters. Mm -hmm. All of this flurry thing that NDC want to talk about, it's not where we are. Let's focus and see. Look, if a debate comes out, let's think about it. 
Do we want that? We don't want that. So unilateral, uh, you know, uh, unanimously we agree that this one we don't want it above. We move on. This should not be antagonistic discussions where we say, oh, we're suspecting them. But, but, we're but, but Richard, it's not that. Richard, we you, have you to, do agree that you do agree that if you leave space, the yeah. opposition has nothing to lose. They would get in. But you see, and that's so, why. So I, don't leave space for yeah, them. Yeah, we, we had. Well, of course, this this thing is is clear cut. We 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 had it cleaned up. If the direction has been straight, it's okay. We have a document before us which is going to be taught to our children. Let's look inside. CSE in there. Yes, CSE not in there. Why is he in there? Why is he not in there? Period. But here we have a document, but then the NDC is forcing us to discuss let's something it. that is okay. colonial. Okay, let's, 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 let's no, no, make no, progress. Something that is colonial. That's our WhatsApp line, and we invite you to join the conversation and be part of uh, Active Society. Now, Ghana has adopted uh, the plastic waste strategy. It's talking about the government of Ghana having adopted a new wave of uh, campaign to rid the country of plastic plastic waste is that the Ghana National Plastics Action uh, Partnership the program does not only seek to stop the growth of plastic uh, pollution but it also ensures that plastics do not find their way into the country's marine body now the president said the Ghana plastics management policy uh, is not only focused on how to address plastic waste but also takes a holistic view of the entire value chain of uh, plastics and seeks to achieve several objectives. That's what the president said. It, this sounds like something I've heard so many times. Mm. Um, I'll start with you, uh, Alaji. Would we ever have the, the courage and the boldness to say single-use plastics, we're done with you, we're going the Kigali way, we're doing paper bags that can get into the earth and not cause any havoc. Can we beat our chest and say that confidently that we can? We can. So if why the haven't will we? And determination is there. Uh, it is very important to know that mm. plastic waste takes years mm. upon years to get decayed, right. as compared to paper and other waste. And the ocean or the seas and rivers are mm. being choked up, mm. more mm. especially when you come to Ghana. Okay. Uh, I was in Togo last Thursday mm -hmm. and I saw a river in the middle of Lomi. Yeah. You will not see any plastic. Beautiful. Beautiful. The water is its natural color. But there's one at uh, Asin Kushia in the central region. Mm -hmm. and Very beautiful place. I compare it to Ado River, river at Seka. How it did you feel? slap on, a, on the face of the Ghanaians and uh, the government. I think there must be bold steps taken. We shouldn't superficially address it. Mm. I've heard the minister saying that plastic burning is not the solution. Mm. So it tells you the direction this government wants to move. The president says attitude is a key thing in trying to solve this problem. The, uh, that tells you the direction. The, the banning of it is not the pure objective mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. Now, who is responsible for ensuring that attitudes, the laws work? Mm -hmm. It is the government. He promised that when given the mandate, mm -hmm. Accra will become the cleanest cities in Africa. Mm -hmm. We are into two and a half years going. Mm. Has anything happened? Has anything happened? You say there's no enforcement. There's the, no enforcement? Mm. The key actors have been clothed with all the power. Look, the guys we call some of our town council, the <laughs> health inspectors, they have prosecutorial powers. So when they take you to court, they don't need a prosecutor to help. They, will, they can prosecute you. Why are they not prosecuting? Who do they work under? Who did they work under? Mm. And what actions are taken? That is what we want to do. Because if somebody do not execute what is expected of him, mm. that person must be queried, mm -hmm. where possibly suspended. But no action. We're here when uh, publication, I'm not a baller man, mm -hmm. 
And all those things happen. We're talking about Mr. Kofi Ada. That tells you that things are not going in this country. We are getting worse off day by day. In 2015. And if I the president can rant, mm, mm. if action is not taken, we'll be worse off. In 2015, now, when the June 3 disaster happened, I held a microphone to President Mahama and I asked him a question. He said, we, we need to go the Kigali way and we need to ban plastics. And, and that was in 2015 of June. He stayed on till January 7, 2017. And we didn't see... The first and foremost was... We didn't was see the, the ban happen. The, no, the first and foremost was the deserting mm. of the Odor River. But the overarching by, thing was the ban. Yes. What happened to it? And I, I was still coming to the right. ban. Mm. The first and foremost was to ensure that the reconstruction of uh, the certain of the order. Right. And brother, President's brother decided mm. to take that bold step mm. to do it for Madagana. Mm. The MPP then criticizing and made him look bad to the extent mm. it wasn't carried out. The Laughing Tire Hill mm. funding was source for its construction. Since this government came, have they utilized it? No. So there are processes we must follow. Mm. In banning, it's not just a stop work. Mm -hmm. People have invested in establishing the factories. So a framework was put in place mm -hmm. to ensure that gradually is face off. Two, people have been employed. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, they say, stop work, go home. That is not closing down the factories using human face. Okay. So Thank this you. government has come in, mm -hmm. continue with it. They are waiting to one uh, about 14 months to elections. Now you are an announcing a policy, and the policy is not even very clear. What, what's that? The policy is clear. The policy says we will stop littering. We will not make sure we have plastics in the ocean. A crowd will be the cleanest see, in West Africa. The that, policy directions are clear. That has been there. What is your? What has been your contribution what, what to, is, to making this what possible? What is? What is the outline? That process to make sure. Mm. That is why he indicated that a crowd become the cleanest city in Africa. If he has no outline what to do, why did he announce it? And therefore, this, his announcement is not the solution. He should have been telling her what he had there. His government has talked so far in relation to ensuring that our environment is clean. Mm. Anyway, Richard, the, 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 let's pick the conversation from here. The, the president. In that same story by Charles Tichy Boyd, the presidential correspondent, he says, the president applauded the initiatives being taken by private sector operators to build plastic waste recycling plants to create biofuels that are being used as alternatives to fossil fuel and produce building blocks uh, that are used to construct roads and pavements. This is the private sector's contribution. But that same private sector who produce these plastics we, who are being told to use bio-oxo-degradable plastics, mm -hmm. pay a certain 10% environmental excise tax that is supposed to be put together to construct some of these uh, recycled plants nationally. The money, we're told, has accrued some 1 million Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. But for the lack of or the absence of an authority to disburse the funds, the money is sitting there in a the consolidated fund. And here is government saying, we are applauding uh, private sector. What do you say? Why should we have money and be complaining? Uh, Johnny, I, I think uh, this conversation is a very critical one. Um, we, we must, as a people, become very engaged in the governance of our country. I always uh, remember, I would fond uh, memories of how the president on, on uh, his inaugural uh, day uh, chanted to all of us that we as a people must be engaged. I cannot say the last of that because he saw what it took and what it will take to build this country. You understand? 
engagement with the process, like you're saying, some one million sitting anywhere, we as a people have a responsibility. And the nature of our engagement with government should not always be we are opposed to government. It could be positively petitioning government say, let's work on this authority so we can have this. But government, Following government knows this. Claim, this. Government, knows this I know, government. government knows that. But we are the government. You see, we make the mistake to think government is His Excellency and other Dan Kwakufado, and all of us lose. So let's engage in the process. For all you know, government is leading and working to do this. We, the people, can come in the space and say, government, we want this now. We know you are working mm -hmm. on it. Definitely they are working on it. But we want this to move mm -hmm. because this issue that you have brought policy-wise mm -hmm. is linked to this. Now, my problem, mm -hmm. Johnny, and that is the problem of the development of our country. Which is? Is the participation. We must take ownership of our country. What our clue says, we started projects, you come, you cancel them, you stop everybody I'm from not even, I'm not talking about the uh, skewed political conversation is having. Okay. I'm talking about a national picture mm -hmm. to say, what am I doing, Richard, as a citizen? Mm -hmm. Where I am not waiting for a politician to come and take a decision in my area. I that that I question. see plastic, I see things, I use plastic, mm -hmm. what do I do with them? Elsewhere, you use plastic and you cannot put it there. You know consciously you can't put it there. You mm. take it to where you must dispose of it, it. it. We must get people in this space. Mm. Private enterprise must come in this space. How do we design a system to collect plastic because plastic is money is it, at this point? Is it not How disappointing we, that the government spends money to do the public litter bins and people still litter? Is and that's exactly that that's what I am saying. That as me as a citizen, what do I do? You understand? Okay, so, we'll, really, we'll come back to wrap up. Let Bella take some okay. message. We can't keep the lady waiting. Okay. Sorry about that. So, Bella, welcome. Today, I've been nice. you Thank you so no, no, much. We have given you three chances. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, so from Yamoha from Wa says that this government should credit Ghanaians with a little bit of intelligence. What would be the benefits of this CSE to our children? It's an LGBT sponsored program um, that will never see the light of day. Okay, why is government always lying to us? Good morning, TV3. This government is ruling the country like the animal farm. In fact, they have nothing for the country apart from clearing, hmm, from Kaka Tamale. This CSE thing must stop. In other words, it should be a special guide for teachers to be counsel, well, to counsel children uh, engaged in sexual immorality, but not just exposing every child whose parents have full responsibility of their child's sexuality. It won't be long before uh, kids will be practicing wearing condoms. I guess that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good morning, TV3. Ghana for Casao. Sex education has been part of our syllabus, da da da. I was Thought about I was taught about homosexuality and lesbianism at GSS and my teachers didn't turn me into a gay in fact we Not talk Jesus. too much but we don't know anything Not. don't you think it's better for children to know about sex from school mm. than to see it from porn sites uh, you know etc we're three ladies blah 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 we get what you mean uh, let's move to this one that says that when an issue pops up especially on social media relax read more and listen more unless you are very sure of this issue don't jump to defend or attack you may look stupid when the dust settles on this current issue ask when our teachers uh, ask when our teachers were being trained on the new curriculum if they were trained on CSC 2 which subjects in the curriculum does the CSC fall under and three were there uh, um, was there anything on CSE in the guidelines our teachers were supposed to use in teaching our kids? And what documents are we relying on as we talk about the CSE? Kofi Anobel from Mataeko. Uh, Mr. Richard Nanyagba, I think, spoke on that uh, a few minutes ago. So good morning, TV3. My name is Frederick from Yendi. I really enjoy your programs. Happy birthday to TV3. Thank you so much. Good morning, Johnny. We beg GES to scrap that CSE from the syllabus before it is too late. The children will know uh, these things naturally or at least parents can teach their children at home. This is Nana Jedu inside Jaman South. And okay, we don't understand all that you're saying this morning. So tell us, are you in support of this program or not? Tell us what you're defending. Gideon from Kotobabi. I saw some other comments as well. Let me quickly jump. Okay, so good morning, TV3. Please tell the NPP man, Mr. Richard Hanuba, by the way, that the words of the president uh, are said by his minister. The minister's plan for him and the president approves. Tell him to answer the questions and stop beating around the bush. Uh, from Anas Yamdari, Shidiem Ahafo region. Now, every product comes with a manual. So once there's a guideline, it means the product is available. This government is agitating. Ebo Patrick from Takrade. And is Richard saying that CSE guidelines uh, were published before the curriculum was published, Joshua from Ho. 
Okay, thank you very much. Bright a PR of Child Rights International wants me to uh, ask you on what basis were the guidelines developed? This is a question I asked you. Yeah, uh, yeah so, so is the, the, the guideline. Some, somebody says the guideline is the manual. Yeah, so the product see, see, exists. Yeah, so the guideline uh, <laughs> is out of the guideline they extract their curriculum. Mm. So what we our concern should be, and uh, my good friends who are sending in the message, I think they can get the curriculum to read. Okay, to ascertain for themselves. Point of the matter is that when our children go to school, okay, mm -hmm. they are not going to be taught anything on that subject matter. Okay. And I am saying that as a parent, I myself, I am concerned. Okay. The Minister of Education, this government, mm -hmm. we are from a background that says preserve our culture. Mm -hmm. So if there is anything that would destabilize our culture, undermine it, mm -hmm. and make it unuseful and it change the nature of who we are mm -hmm. for our children's, uh, you know, to take over from us. We will not countenance it. So the but, idea, but the objectives is, of the guidelines, as I've read, say yes. otherwise. Like how do the, you mean? the objectives of the guidelines is to <laughs> for, to make the children self-aware to you know, the sexual preferences and all of that. It, yeah. it talks about it largely. In, yeah, in so, 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 so I... And that's where the Catholic Bishops Conference is. Though, it's a subtle attempt to bring in lesbianism, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Yeah. You see, you and, know, so, and so, there. Johnny, um, the point I am making is mm. this. Okay. The, 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 the setup for this discussion, okay, okay should be different. Mm. To say, okay, well, this is what uh, United Nations through UNESCO mm. and the rest of the world is trying to do. We as a people, mm -hmm. this is who we are. Let's have a conversation. Our, our hands let's tied. discuss. Our, our hands tied. Huh? No, no, let's, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm asking no, this. I'm asking I'm, this because I'm the president, let, let, the let, president. Let, hold on for me. The president is the co-chair yeah. uh, of the UN for the SDG. Yes. Um, this is coming in, so it will have implications on health, implications on education, which are all uh, part of the yeah. SDGs. Okay. That's why I'm asking. Our hands tied. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely are we, are not. Are we taking money from anybody? To Absolutely do not. Okay. The point I am making to you: if money from United United Nation is not money from anybody, it's our money. Okay. okay, we should mm. understand that. Mm. So the point I am making is this, that let's get to a point where we're having a conversation about how we move forward as a people. Okay. And the question now is, is CSC is going to be taught? Is it going to be taught to our children? The answer T is no. Tell is the it, education it, minister it, to, to have a public it, forum so we can have a debate. It, yes, yes, so so, it's so not, tell him. Honorable, let me just but, is your let, friend. Let, education let, minister let, is your good let, friend. He's our servant. He's our servant. So tell we are closer to him. Tell him that we want the rest of the debate. He's our servant and he's made the point very clear okay. that when our children go to school, they're not going we, to be we, taught We need anything. a national debate on this absolutely. one. Absolutely. So, so tell him that absolutely. he should organize one absolutely. so we can come and ask but Johnny, him. Johnny, yes, yes. He was, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying. No, you, let me no, answer no, 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 You no, no, come no. to the debate, <laughs> okay. you come to the debate yeah. to get information and disseminate. That okay. is. That's that, okay. that the Great. forum has one okay. thing this oh, But we organize debate here. This One thing this government will never accept is just to say, oh, sorry, we never thought this is where it will get us to. No, no, We will do. This consultation, consultative process you are talking about mm. should have taken place a long time. Okay. Look at the point of implementation. Okay, thank and you very I much. I realized one, one, one student said at JHS he yeah. was taught. Mm. Yeah, JHS is in a different level. Okay. But the most concerned parents have okay. is the kindergarten to P6. Okay, so uh, that is where thank you, you model the Thank you. Let me let me let me end with let me let me end with this. Richard, tell me Richard, how hold on. Let me end with this uh, with uh, from Dr. Clement Park. He says uh, a comprehensive sexuality education is already in the new curriculum. Uh, he quotes B uh, materials that focus on comprehensive sexual uh, sexuality education. He says a particularly recommended English language uh, curriculum for primary schools, basic one to three page XX and XXI and C primary four and five one. It talks about drug abuse and nine. He says comprehensive sexuality education primary six uh, one comes to about uh, English language curriculum for primary schools, basic one to three, page XSS. Government is lying. NACA is lying. GES is lying. That's what but, but see, Clementa yeah, Park he, says. He's, 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 a, he's a deputy but, ranking but, member no, of the but, but, Education but, but, Committee in Parliament. He didn't refer right. to the specific Thank you, area. Mr. Richard Ayagba is a deputy national communications director of the NPP. And also, Alaji uh, Adam Mutawakilo, <laughs> the, the great one, is the MP for Damogo. He's going for a second time. <laughs>